In this video, I'm going to show you the best run defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you are new to my YouTube channel, my channel is all about helping you become the best Madden player that you can possibly be. And so if you want to become better at this game or you just want to stay up to date with my latest tips and strategies that I have coming out on the channel every single day, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It is completely free to subscribe, and it just simply allows you to stay up to date with everything happening here on the channel. Now, the defense that we're going to be sharing with you today is my Nickel 335 wide run defense. I believe that Nickel 335 wide specifically gives you the best opportunity to be able to stop anything that the offense can throw from you. It's why I actually wrote a complete defensive guide on it. If you want to get my full Nickel 335 wide defensive guide, you can get that in the description for just $15. We've been running this all season long, and it's been the most effective defense so far this season. I think the first video we put out about it was back in June of 2020. 20 so it's just been a very very successful defense for us you can do everything from it you can play match coverage blitz run defense man coverage um, there's just so many things that you can do from it so uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be audibling down from 335 normal to the 335 wide the reason we do that is because in Madden 21 linebackers are really not good in pass coverage um, they just don't jump very well so what we want to do is we want to put safeties there that have more speed more athleticism, better jumping, that kind of thing. And then we want to put our linebackers at our defensive end position. So you can only do that by utilizing your 3 through 5 normal and audibling into your 3 through 5 wide. Okay? So the run defense we're going to be breaking down today, and we're in the Raiders book, which is probably the best running playbook in the game. And uh, we're going to first start with I form close, um, power O, and that kind of stuff. But basically all we're going to do is we are going to audible down into the cover two man, and then from there, all we're going to do, this is kind of the formula, is we're going to shift our D-line to the side of strength, which in this case would be the right side. We're going to crash our defensive line out, as you can see right here. And then we're going to quarterback spy both of our safeties. And what we're going to do is we're going to man up that blitzing linebacker on whoever our user is guarding. So as you see here, our user is guarding R1. We're going to man him up onto R1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our user into a purple zone. Okay, it's actually really important that you put him in a purple zone whenever you're trying to get run defense. If you're playing pass defense, you want to put him on something else. But really, you want him on a purple zone for run defense. Okay, so we still want three people blitzing in that case. So uh, power O, if it's a run outside, um, what we want to do is we want to shoot in between the guard and the tackle. If it is a run inside, we want to shoot in between the guard and the center. So that's kind of the kind of the strategy here. So we're just going to shoot right down here, kind of blow that pulling guard up, and as you can see, the safeties will come in and naturally be able to fill the running lanes for us very easily. Okay, And I'll show you that run defense again. We're going to shift our defensive line to the right, and again, this is just for iPhone close. If you're facing it flipped, then you would you would shift them to the left. You, you want to shift your defensive line to the side, that the, the strong side of the formation. So in this example, you know the strong side would be to the right side. We're going to spy both of our safeties. We're going to crash our defensive line out, and we're going to man up uh, that blitzing linebacker onto the R1 player. And then we just want to put our user in a, uh, a curl flat zone. This is going to basically um, tell the lineman that they don't have to block him because he's in a pass coverage. And then I like to pass him in, um, against the run. Okay? And then power row, you're just shooting right down here. And as you can see, it just kind of naturally, the lanes will naturally fill. Okay, I like to stick to the rule of thumb of I don't have to make every tackle with my user. I just have to simply do my job as a user. I have to fill my gap. And my gap in this specific situation is going to be right in here or right in here. Okay, so um, let's say that they run an ISO run. So we're going to set the same defense up. Okay, but if they run the ball down the middle, now they're not going to be running through this gap. They're going to be running through this gap. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of presetting my controller to hold it down at an angle so that he doesn't move, but I'm kind of presetting the shoot. And then as soon as I see, oh, he's coming inside, then I'm just going to come in here and blow it up. As you can see right there, very easy, and I'm able to stop the uh, I'm able to stop the halfback ISO. So that's how you stop ISO. Let me show you to you one more time. So again, I'm just going to stand kind of right here. Spy these guys. Kind of preset my shoot. I see that. You see how that fullback does take a wide angle? That's the that's why it matters, or that's why it works so well. Um, the fullback does take a very wide angle to be able to stop this. 
One other little thing that you can do if you're a little bit more like if you might you might be saying, well, I'm a little nervous. I don't I don't feel comfortable, you know, playing cover zero and, and, and all that. Then what I would tell you, honestly, if you take the strong side, um, that player that is manned up on the fullback, that linebacker, I could put him into a curl flat zone. I could also go ahead and take the safety on the strong side and put him into a deep middle third. And then what I just I just have to kind of watch the fullback, like as a user. So if the fullback goes out on a route, I need to go guard him. But this is another little option that you could do. If you put your curl flats at like 25 yards, then you see you're still going to get the same potential because you got the backside safety coming down to take care of the cutback, and then you have it preset. So that's another little minor thing that you can do. Now stretch is kind of the same as power O. Now this is not the best overall defense for defending stretch. In my personal opinion, nickel normal is the best way to, to defend stretch, but you can still do a very good job in stretch. So again, we're doing the same exact thing that we talked about, where we're basically presetting the shoot, and then once we see opens outside, we're just gonna kind of fill the lanes, and as you can see, we're able to take care of the stretch. Very easy and very natural little run defense for us to be able to take care of this. So again, we're just shifting to the side of strength. We're going here, we're gonna spy both of those safeties. Man coverage as a general rule is definitely a much better run defense than zone coverage, at least in my personal opinion, uh, at least so far. So again, stretch, we see that, okay, we're just gonna climb, 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 and it's gonna kind of muddy it up and force him into the defense, as you can see, okay? So that is stretch, uh, or that is I form close. Let's talk uh, briefly here about uh, a shotgun, a shotgun run. So we're gonna go to gun, sling, gun wing slot offset. Now this is specifically if you're trying to stop the run, um, you would do the same basic thing. So in shotgun, we're gonna shift to the side of the running back, and then we're going to um, we're going to go ahead and man that guy up on whoever we need to man him up on. So like in this situation, my user is guarding the tight end, so I'm going to man him up there. And you see, this is kind of the, the basic um, you know defense that we've created. Okay. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to spy the safeties. Now in this situation, you have two vertical threats on the left side, so you might only want to spy the the, the one safety, and then you might want to take that triangle receiver, triangle guy and put him in a quarter zone. You kind of kind of split it or you could put him on you know, anything you really wanted to. But if you spy him, it makes it better. And again, we're just gonna shoot right through the middle, as you can see right there. And I just did a terrible job of shooting, but you're just gonna shoot right in and, and be able to take care of that. So that's how you stop uh, shotgun runs. General rule, but that does apply to most shotgun runs in the game. Now, uh, let's talk about, for just a split second, like an ace formation, like single back ace. What do you do if they run single back ace? What I like to do is I like to shift to the side. Um, I like to I like to shift this thing um, away from the slot corner. So you see here we're going to create balance. I've got a slot corner on this side right here. So I'm just going to shift away just like this right here. Just crash my line out, and then you see here I'm going to man this guy up just like I said. And then we're going to go ahead and roll with those spies. Now if you do something like this, I would recommend shading over top just to kind of protect the deep. You're not going to get beat over the top that way. Um, and then again, we're just going to kind of fill. So whichever side they run is, you know, if they run left, then I'm going here. If they run right, then I'm going to try to come in here. Okay, that's kind of the, the idea here. So I'm going to kind of preset here. You see that he runs right, so I can kind of chase it down. But as you see, we have a natural flow. Now if I, you know, again, if I was on that a little bit more, I would have had a little bit better of a chance uh, at that. So let me show you that one more time. So again, shift away. Got the spies, got the main coverage, crashed it out. And then, okay, I see stretch. You see how it can naturally will contain it. That's the cool part of this defense is you don't have to necessarily blow everything up with your user. Um, the natural ability of the defense to contain the run is super, super effective. So that's why I like it. It puts people in just really, really good formate positions. If you have time in your run defense, um, to move your safeties down a little bit. You can kind of move your safeties down to like where these three linebackers are. If you can get them like right there, that will help even more. They're gonna be really in the run fit at that point. So anyways, that's the nickel 335 wide run defense. Now the guide will share with you everything else. So um, if you get the defensive ebook, you're gonna be able to learn the pass defense uh, through via zone drops, the man coverages, the, the um, match coverages. You're also gonna learn blitzes and 
um, base shells against every formation. It's very, very effective. Shows you how to stop every run in the game, which is really good. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a little bit more on this nickel 335 wide, it is my personal recommendation for you to be running this defense. I don't see any other defense right now in the community that can do everything that the 335 wide can do. And that's why I'm recommending that. That's why I believe it's the best defense in the game. And so if you have not gotten the full ebook yet, I would encourage you to do that. It is truly going to help you um, be able to just be as effective as you possibly can on the defensive side of the ball. So thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can grab that defense if you want to. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up via text message.